Hi everybody, welcome along to the next episode of Pure Pens TV where we're going to look at the brand new, just released, hot off the press, Twisby Go fountain pen. So here is the box that it comes in, we're going to do a little unboxing video after this. And here is the pen, we're going to show you some close-up images of the pen, the nib, a comparison with other models from Twisby's range and also other pens that this uh, fountain pen, this brand new fountain pen competes with. So we hope you enjoy looking at it. So this is the gift box that the new Twisby Go comes in. You can see it's quite a bit smaller than the other boxes that Twisby currently use. So this is the Eco box, and then this is the Diamond 580 box and VAC 700R box. You can see that they still follow the same theme, but it's quite a bit smaller in the new model. The cardboard sleeve on the outside continues the theme that they introduced with the Eco. So that slides off and reveals this simple white plastic box that's got the Twisby name on the front of it. It is sealed with clear stickers when it's new, but we've taken the stickers off just to make it a little bit easier to show you in the video. So the box gets removed and the pen is there then inside, being held in place by this little foam square that has a hole cut in the middle of it to hold the pen. So that slides off and there is the pen. It has a little instruction leaflet as the other Twisby models do. This one is a little bit more simple because the pen is a bit more simple. So it just shows you remove the barrel, plunger mechanism with a spring on it, put the barrel back on. Nice and simple. So here you can see the two colours that the Twisby Go is available in at launch. Uh, sapphire, which is the blue one, and then smoke, which is the grey one. So you can see that it's, even though it's tinted with colour, it is transparent so you can see the mechanism inside. The lid is completely transparent too, with just a little coloured end that matches the rest of the pen, with the Twisby logo in red on it. You'll see there's no clip on this model, like there is on every other model. It just has a little loop there which you can attach to a lanyard for ease of carrying. It's just a friction fit lid rather than a screw fit, which is what the other Twisby fountain pen models have got. The nib is available in five sizes and we'll show you that in more detail later on in the video. The grip section is the same shape as the Eco, so it's triangular, but it is longer in length and tapers out to a wider diameter. Again, we'll show you a comparison later on in the video. The barrel detaches from the pen and then you can more easily see the piston mechanism which is spring-loaded. The colour of the mechanism then also matches either sapphire or smoke of the pen. It's a little bit difficult to see here on this video but the name Twisby and Go is also moulded into the end of the cap. We'll show you the filling mechanism now. So as you can see on this video provided by Twisby, the pen is really simple to fill using the spring-loaded mechanism. The Go is available with five nib options, so it starts at extra fine, then fine, then medium, then broad, and then they do a 1.1mm italic stub. The nibs are the same physical size as those fitted to the Eco model, and also the VAC Mini and Diamond Mini, although those last two models have a sleeve, which means they're not interchangeable with the Go or the Eco. Here is a size comparison image of the five nib widths that we've written out with our own Pure Pens inks. So here's a size comparison image of the other Twisby uh, fountain pen models. And for those of you who like statistics, on the next couple of slides we're going to show you the length, posted length, diameter of all the models. So please feel free to pause the video so that you can compare them. So if you like the look of this video and other videos on our channel, be sure to click the subscribe button underneath our logo and also the bell button so that you get notifications when we upload new videos like this. 
We hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please do give us the thumbs up. Also, if you've got any suggestions for future videos or feedback on this video, please do pen us a comment underneath.